All right, guys, how's it going? Well, I'm back, I'm back at my desk. It's been a bit quiet last few days, hasn't it? Do you not think? I think that's a good thing, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm trying to, like, look for stuff that we can talk about and that. Um, seen a comment from Red Army 102 He's been subscribed to this channel for 11 years. All right, thank you, brother. You've endured me that long. <laughs> he says, is a Alonso deal dead? I've seen a few reports that he's hinted at a U-turn. Now, if you do, like, have a little mooch around, a dig around, you will see headlines right now or over the last 24 hours or whatever, as similar to this. Xavi Alonso drops by a Labour queue some future hint just weeks after Liverpool decision. Liverpool manager search. Xavi Alonso and Ruben Amorim stances after U-turn hint. The Xavi Alonso's update on future could point towards potential Liverpool U-turn. So we've seen a lot of like uh, references of Alonso U-turning and hinting. Okay, uh, Xabi Alonso drops in on Liverpool U-turn after clarifying by Leverkusen future. Uh, Xabi Alonso has just claimed a sensational Bundesliga triumph um, with by Leverkusen with his efforts leading to interest from the likes of Liverpool and Bayern Munich. Now, his quotes... Um, are as follows uh, and the bit that they're focusing on is, is this little bit that says I don't know what it will mean for the future that's the hint All right. but in full context Alonso said when I feel that the team is behind me the feeling that they want to believe it's much easier that was my great enjoyment that I had the feeling that the team was really committed and once you have that it's much easier I don't know what it will mean for the future, but at the moment, it feels pretty great. So he's, he's obviously buzzing off his tits, you know, he's won that Bundesliga and everything. Um, but the media are trying to, like, suggest that he's, he could U-turn and become the Liverpool manager. We've discussed this before, haven't we? You know, some people thought that maybe it was, you know, Liverpool were stepping back to you know, not get in the way of, of the Bundesliga title and stuff like that. Although they had it pretty wrapped up, didn't they, early on? But what I mean by that is it was obvious that they were going to um, going to win it. Um, and some fans, you know, obviously passionate, wanted Alonso and that, uh, you know, were hoping that maybe it was all a big ploy and uh, really he was going to end up Liverpool manager and that. And, and if you're one of those fans, you're going to listen to those to those news articles and maybe think there's something in it. It doesn't sound like there's anything to me. Uh, it just sounds like tabloid newspapers um, trying to lure you in to either buy their newspaper or visit their website. Do you know what I mean? So um, I wouldn't be going down that route at the moment. I looked at the betting this morning for... Oh, here he comes. I looked at the betting this morning uh, for the first time since last week. Uh, Ruben Amorim was 1-4, to four, I think, with, uh, with Bet365 which means that you obviously have to put four on, risk four pounds, euros, dollars, whatever, to uh, to make one profit. That's a very short price. Um, De Zerbi was still uh, second favourite. Um, I know Miserable Martin sat there now going, he started his, his own YouTube channel, his Miserable Martin. Red Raw, it's called. You have to find him. Uh, if you don't find him, let me know in the video description and... Um, and I'll, and I'll find the link for you. I don't know it myself, uh, but you should support my half. I love Martin. Uh, so, yeah, we've got um, the Zerbi second favourite. I think it's about nine to one or something like that. But do you know who the third favourite is? Who do you reckon? Xavi Alonso, eh? He's, yeah, he's, 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 he's the third favourite. I think he was 12 to one when I looked uh, this morning. And Julian Nagelsmann, has, he's gone out to 14 because there's a lot of reports now. Uh, in Germany, saying that Bayer, Bayer, Bayern Munich, sorry, I know they said Bayer Leverkusen, Bayern Munich want him. So that would explain why his price has gone out because he was the third favourite before. Um, and then you've got Tuchel. Tom, how do you pronounce Thomas Tuchel? Tu, 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 you know, him, all right? Uh, listen, I see people on TV get it wrong. Do you know what I mean? Um, he he's then next, when I th and I think he's like 20 or something like that. But he's no, he's not actually. I, I'm telling a lie. It's Thiago Motta and then him. And they've been name-checked, those two. They've been name-checked. They have been discussed by Liverpool internally. They absolutely have uh, been discussed internally. 
Um, but I think that they become, they come into play uh, if something goes wrong uh, with uh, with Ruben Amarin, which I don't think it is going to go wrong, do you? I mean, I don't fucking know what's going to happen. Uh, but I, I just think that the silence at the moment from Liverpool's point of view uh, or from our side, obviously we've got Pedro de Parrot chirping away in Portugal, uh, although he's eased off a little bit. But Liverpool's, you know, journalists, if you like, the likes of Ornstein and Born Again, Joy Born Again Joyce at the times that Liverpool Football Club and the ownership tap into when it suits them, they're not saying anything at the moment. So I think that that's a good sign. I do, guys. I think it's a good sign. You shit your pants, right, if Born Again Joyce, for example, comes out and starts mentioning De Zerbe and all, you know, the others and that. Seriously. So keep an eye on him. Uh, trust me, if he says anything, even if it's not in an, an article, I will make you aware of it. But I do think it's... Uh, I do think it's... All right, I'm fairly relaxed with it all at the minute. I've enjoyed the last few days. I love making videos for you guys, but when it's changing all the time, every couple of hours, like 10 videos a day, there's nothing, you know, there's no time left to do anything else. So... Um, I'm trying to make some content for you, um, but it's, it is a little bit quite... Oh, I've done the Cock Talk podcast today, actually. I've updated that if you're a patron or a VIP member. In fact, if you're a channel member on here, you can listen to it as well. Just click on the community tab. Um, so I posted that on there for you. See, it's not a great like length. Uh, <clears throat> it's not a very long episode. Isn't it? About 20 minutes, maybe, something like that. But it's something to listen to, isn't it, if you're bored of your tits. Uh, so there you go. That The reason for the video is to tell you why some people might be mentioning uh, Alonso possibly you turning on, on coming to Liverpool. Uh, it's just the media, you know, making a big deal out of those those select words. That's it, really. Um, yeah, I, I think I've got more videos for you. Bear with me. I hope you're all all right. Um, watch the morning briefing if you've got nothing better to do with your life. Um, and if you appreciate this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. Your comments are the most important thing because I get to see how you're feeling and it helps me with the mood of the fans, you know. Um, and I like to hear from you, you know. Like I'm going outside for a, a cup of coffee now and uh, I like to catch up on my comments and see what you're saying, you know. And I acknowledge them. I do, guys. Uh, and if you want to buy me a coffee or a beer, whatever, you can hit that super thanks button. But read the video description, join the newsletter, it's free. Uh, and connect with me on social media. It's not my social media, like at Duncan Oldham on Instagram and X, is not really football related. Do you know what I mean? Well, it is. I mean, Instagram, if you go on there, you'll have seen that I was at the football over the weekend. I love football. But what I mean is I don't dedicate my life to chatting about fucking football all day long like some of these people and getting caught up in toxicity. To 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 yeah, that. Do you know what I mean? So, But I like to connect with people that, you know, you can share the same love, Liverpool Football Club and, and football in general. I want to connect with them people, you guys. All right. So let me know what you think about Alonso, but I, you know what I mean? That's where it's... Oh, here he is. That's where it's coming from, guys. All right. All right. Speak to you in a bit.